Hogwarts houses. I was very excited to do this theme once I finally figured out what I wanted to do because I had zero ideas throughout the entire month. But that's okay because I figured it out and I'm very happy with how it came out. Also, you might notice an increase in the quality of footage because I got a better recording device, so hopefully that makes a difference and makes these videos more enjoyable for you guys. I have been super duper busy. And that is why my frequency of videos has gone down. So hopefully that's not too big of an issue for you guys. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, all of that nonsense during these hectic and stressful times. My cover page is a bit busy and I wasn't quite as watercolor heavy this month. It was more marker heavy because there was a lot of small details that would have been harder to do. But I did try to incorporate some watercolor just to keep consistency throughout. My quote page is quite long, but that's okay. <laughs> neither one nor the other but my primary house is of course Ravenclaw as it was my first house and my favorite house well I don't want to say favorite but it was my first house so it holds a special place in my heart so I decided to theme my first two pages around Ravenclaw my second two pages around Slytherin and my third not third my fifth and sixth pages around Gryffindor and Hufflepuff since I am neither one of those houses also, yet again, please excuse my face. I have a really bad habit of getting like up close to my paper when I'm working on it. But I decided on each page to put the traits of the house in some way or form or fashion. And that's kind of how I themed it. And I really like the way I did it here with the little gradient. I decided to stick with the Alistair method for my habits and my finances. Just because it's really easy to set up, I hate drawing boxes, and I like the way it works. It's fast, and it looks really clean and neat too, so I think I'm going to stick with it at least for the rest of this bullet journal. Speaking of, I'm almost out of this bullet journal, and I'm really thinking about getting an Archer and Olive for my next bullet journal, but if any of you have any other suggestions for bullet journal brands you want me to try, let me know down in the comments, because I'm always open to try new things, as long as it's got thick pages. The Michaels brand bullet journal, which is what I used to use, does not, and it was awful. So, if you're going to recommend me a bullet journal, please make sure that it has very thick pages so that I can successfully watercolor, please and thank you. Anywho, I decided to use the accent colors for each of the houses, i.e. Ravenclaw, Bronze, Gryffindor, Gold, 
Slytherin Silver, Raven, not Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff Black, that kind of thing. And I used my foil quill for each of them, except for, I don't think I did, oh no, I think I did for Gryffindor. But you'll, we'll see in a minute. Anywho, I decided to use those to accent it, and I did a lot of gradients, but I'm really happy with how these spreads came out. A lot of them are fairly simple compared to what I usually do, but they also look super detailed at the same time. But they're all really pretty, and I'm very happy with this month. Also, please excuse the guest appearances from my cat. So you might notice that I forewent my homework tracker this month in lieu of this page that I call Headspace, which is essentially a brain dump, but it's more for ideas and I kind of want it to be a dream journal as well, but I don't have that many dreams and even if I do, I probably won't write them down unless they're very significant. So I called it Headspace, so it's just like any kind of thought or anything that I want to write down that goes through my head because my head is a crazy place and maybe by writing down some of my thoughts I can begin to decipher it.
because I am finishing up my stats page. That brings me to the end of my bullet journal setup for the month of November. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment, and a like. It really makes my day. And stick around for more awesome videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Sorry, sorry, no, no, no. No.